in Florida, they are considering uh, greatly expanding their private prisons, turning public prisons into private prisons, so that uh, these corporations, some of which that are, are based in Florida, will make more money. Now, they say, of course, it's to save uh, money, but we'll get to whether that's true in a second. Uh, first of all, they want to privatize every state prison in south of Orlando. Uh, that's 30 facilities, and that would be at least 20% of the state's correctional system. Um, and uh, Chris Kirkham has an excellent article about this in Huffington Post, and you can read for yourself uh, what's happening there. Uh, now, private prisons uh, claim that they uh, do things at a lower co cost. But one of the ways that they do that is they cherry pick the prisons. So they get the prisoners with the best health records, okay, at least on average, right? So they leave behind to the public the sickest prisoners or the prisons with the sickest prison population on average. And they go, yeah, you guys take care of those and we'll take care of the healthy ones so that our medical bills are lower. And then they turn around and brag and go, oh, you see that? Well, we uh, cost less. Yeah, that's because you did chair picking. And besides which, you don't even cost less despite that. And then uh, here's another uh, way that they cherry pick. They look at which prisons uh, pose the least amount of violence because that also will keep their uh, uh, cost down. And they say, all right, the ones that are the most violent, I'll leave to the public and then go, oh, look at that, the public can't take care of it right. Well, how do they get away with all this cherry picking, et cetera, and, and playing with the numbers? Well, they buy the politicians. And of course, mainly the Republican Party. The private prison industry has contributed more than $1.4 million to Florida's Republican Party just in the last couple of years. And that's just contributions to the Republican Party. They've also spent millions lobbying key lawmakers in the state. In fact, uh, let me give you more numbers. In just the last three election cycles, uh, the political action committees, the executives, and their spouses at for-profit prison companies have donated nearly $1.8 million to Florida candidates and committees. So the money just keeps pouring in. In fact, the Florida Republican Party over the last decade has been the largest recipient of campaign money from GEO Group and Correction Corporations of America, the two largest private prison companies in the country. In fact, GEO is based in Florida and they are lobbying ad nauseum and giving money ad nauseum to the Republican Party so that when they get in office, they'll give them these contracts. And they're not hiding it. When they talk to uh, investors, both the CEO of the GEO Group and uh, of uh, Corrections Corp have bragged about how this is the largest uh, procurement contract in the industry's uh, history. And that it is, quote, uh, an aggressive, uh, uh, an opportunity uh, that is unprecedented and must be aggressively pursued. And how they pursue it? They pursue it by giving all the money to the politicians so they'll get to pick the prisons that are the least problematic that they can make the most amount of money from. Now, uh, does it actually work uh, that in fact these private prisons are uh, cost less costly? Well, one, stuff we know indicates that's not true. Number two, there's a lot we don't know, because in 2005, they were supposed to do a report. The state inspector general's office was supposed to get a report from the private prisons telling us whether they, whether they cost less, because that was the last time they tricked Florida into doing private prisons. They said, oh, don't worry. We're going to give you very detailed reports on how much it costs, and we're going to show you that it costs less than public prisons. Where is that report? No, I don't know. They don't have it. What? You ask the state, but wait a minute, we're about to vote on this thing. Where's the report? Uh, it, conveniently, we couldn't find it. In other words, either A, they're like, <laughs> they didn't do any damn report, or they did a report and it was a disaster, and it turns out they cost more than public prisons, so they buried it. So uh, even a Republican, now this is a Republican that's opposed to the private prisons, but it, uh, it's uh, Paula Dockery. She says, quote, they have not done any true fiscal analysis on it, and I think it's really an embarrassment. Well, how about other states then, if we can't find the numbers from uh, Florida? In Arizona, there was a 2010 report from the state's Auditor General, and it found out, shockingly enough, that a uh, state spent more per inmate in private prisons than in public prisons. Let's all say it together. Of course! And by the way, as if all of this wasn't evidence enough and proof enough, 
uh, there's another little trick that they do to try to pretend, at least in the short run, that private prisons cost less. What they do is, as soon as they get in charge of a prison, they fire all of the workers. Because remember, these prisons exist. They're taking charge of prisons that already have all those prison guards. They fire all the prison guards. And then they say to them, okay, we, want, we will rehire you as long as, one, you work at less money, but mainly, we want to wipe out your pensions. We don't want to give you pensions anymore. Now, the guys already have the job. A lot of them are forced into taking it because they don't want to be unemployed in this terrible market, especially in Florida. So then they turn around and go, see, we uh, hired people at a, a lower cost. Yeah, that's because you save money not by any kind of efficiency. You save money by, you know, destroying the pensions of those workers who are, at least had something, you know, that they could plan towards retirement towards. You save money by crushing the average guy again, and you put the money in your pocket. And then in the end, it didn't even come to us anyway. You buried the report in Florida and in Arizona, it turns out you cost more. And you took it out of taxpayers, and where did the money go? Of course, to executives who get paid millions of dollars. Well, they were smart enough, I guess, to do an investment uh, into buying politicians. Unfortunately, best investment you could make in America.